and welcome to RC Cincy. Today, uh, we got done doing the boat. It's getting kind of dark, but I wanted to take this out. It is a little bit windy. It's gonna be like a quick little outdoor flight. I think it deserves a flight with no wind because it is kind of breezy. It might affect the way it performs, but we're gonna let it rip, put on this concrete. You want something level, it's not the greatest level board. So remember, you always wanna turn the drone on first. Uh, right underneath off and on switch we do have two red lights at least <laughs> we're gonna set it down towards pointing towards you and then turn the controller on and then we're gonna go up down we're bound here we go so i'm automatically going into rate three because of the wind i don't want to lose it three beeps that's rate three so here we go oh yeah this is going great so very stable. Look how close I can hold it to me. Like I feel comfortable. Very stable. So here, I'm gonna do some flips. So we're gonna roll to the right. Ready? Oh, it is a little breezy, isn't it? It does two flips, not one left. It does like two flips. Oh, there's a wire there. <laughs> Let me come towards this. So very, very stable. Look at that. Here, I want to, I've been wanting to do this. I want to see if I can take off like an airplane. Ready? Let's do it. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take off like an airplane, you know, going forward. See if this works. And uh, hold on. I'm going to take some skill. Uh, hold on. Let's try one last time. I kind of wanted to, the road, the train is kind of rough. I kind of want to give a little throttle and go forward. There you go, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but this thing is very controllable. It might be a little hard to see, I apologize, but it's very controllable. Look at this. Feel totally confident, even in the wind. I'm going to do some big loops around this. And then I'm going to go up, turn around. Yeah, lift this way. So, so this hasn't really been full throttle. Um, just all well, kind of it's been about 70 80 percent throttle it hasn't showed its top speed yet just because of the wind is like battling it like that's like that's like full forward that's full forward right there and it's battling in the wind see it how it's like barely going forward because the wind's blowing it back so we're going to come back over here away from the street because there is a car coming turn it around with the wind it's really fast the wind's getting slow that's why I honestly don't recommend flying this in the wind. You're going to wear the motors out. That's full forward right there in the wind. So see how it's not really moving? The minute you turn around the other way, it's super fast. <laughs> so let's get out of the street again. So you got to kind of give it gust of throttle while you're going forward. But it's very, very manageable. Uh, I don't definitely recommend the beginner flying in the wind like this is dangerous and not only is it easy to lose but you can damage the motors but this thing is really really nice honestly I mean it has quite a bit of power uh, this is a lot of wind it's battling right now here let me try to hold it still watch this like you can see it kind of correcting and moving like it's quite a bit of wind honestly more than what it can handle um, but I'm telling you, on a non-windy day, this thing would be zippy. I mean, like, like really zippy. Um, and we're also gonna do a flight without this body on, just to show you guys how fast this thing can be. Uh, imagine the weight reduction, and then having all that foam on it, uh, the wind blows against it and causes it to not fly as well. Like, if it had all that foam off of it, it'd probably handle the wind just fine because the foam is so big and wide that it's like creating a block. Like it's, it has something for the wind to hit. Let me get it away from your truck. Oh, there's a wire. <laughs> so, so it got hung up on the wire. What I did, I was smart. I let off of it because I didn't want it to get caught in there. Look at that. Perfectly fine. Not a bit of damage. Let me take off one last time. It's only about a four to five minute flight, especially in the wind. What are we at right now, sweetie? Almost five. It's about to flash, literally, like within one minute, I promise you, at the most, it's gonna flash. Two top. So look at that. <laughs> Let's do a flip to the right. Okay. So flip to the right. Oh, shouldn't have let off, I shouldn't have let off off the throttle, sorry. That's my, there it is. 
See how I'm slashing? It's about to land. So in this situation, you want to get it away from everything because it's going to want to land on its own. See that? Well, it hasn't done that yet, but I killed it. Uh, I don't want to get in a situation, and let's see if it'll let you take off with battery flashing. It still will, but it's telling you, like, within a couple minutes, I guarantee it's going to land on its own. Within a few seconds, it's going to land on its own. I honestly just recommend landing because within a few minutes it's going to flash really fast and land on its own anyways and you don't want to be above a car or over there and then land in a street so you're better off landing it yourself all you simply do is uh hit the off switch and then uh you're good to go let it cool just for a minute or two uh this is where having another battery battery is very handy that's why we are going to do the battery mod where you have different batteries in it just because one battery uh, flying for like five six minutes and then waiting like 35 40 minutes to fly again is a pain in the butt so honestly that's why that mod is so important but i tell you what that was quite a bit of wind especially having this much surface area so it'd be easy to blow away so that tells me it's got a lot of power like being able just to fly in this crazy wind it doesn't look like it there's no leaves on the street so you can't really see the leaves the trees move but i'm telling you it's really strong wind very cold and it handled it like a champ uh, if it would have been just the drone, it probably would have had no problem whatsoever, maybe. But having all the surface area, like I said, it blows it away. So I'm excited to see this with no wind. That's when it's going to show its true potential. So I don't want to judge it, but what I can tell, it's amazing. I don't know if it's worth the $50 price tag yet. We'll sure as hell uh, find out. So we'll see how it goes and then go from there. So uh, stay tuned for the modding, the flight with no uh, wind, and go from there. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.